Hi, I'm Hazel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Logitech G600 mouse and the Razer Naga mouse and comparing them from the perspective of an MMO gamer. I personally have quite a bit of experience with both of these mice. I used a Razer Naga from 2010 until about 2014, or more accurately, a couple of Razer Nagas, um, playing World of Warcraft, and I've continued to play World of Warcraft for the roughly four years since on a Logitech G600 gaming mouse. So I've had plenty of time to get my fingers around both of these mice in an MMO environment, and I want to take time to really go through them step by step so that you can figure out which one's right for you. These are both very similar mice in terms of design, so it's really going to come down to the nitty gritty details when you're making an actual decision. So let's start by talking about the button grid. The Razer Naga has a mechanical button grid, so the 12 button grid on the side is actually mechanical, like little teeny tiny mechanical keys on the Razer Naga. Each of those buttons on the Razer Naga is kind of concave shaped on the face of it to really help you get your fingers around it, learn where all the buttons are, and then find them without having to look down at your mouse mid-game. The Logitech G600 mouse has the same key layout, but they are not mechanical on the G600. They're in approximately the same position, and they've got different shapes on the front of the key as well to help make it easier to learn, but the way the G600 key shapes are set up kind of guide you towards two different grids of six keys, sort of categorize them, make it a little bit easier to learn. I found both mice to be very similar in terms of difficulty as far as finding the buttons with your thumb. It's not going to be easy at first, but after a few weeks of using it, you should be very capable of hitting any one of those 12 buttons with your thumb on either mouse um, accurately and quickly. One thing in terms of buttons that the G600 has that the Razer Naga actually doesn't is it actually has a third primary button here on the right hand side. So you've got your first and second mouse button, but you also have a third one that you can keep on to pretty much anything you like. That feature is unique to the G600 and you're not going to find that third primary mouse button on the Razer Naga. Next, let's talk about the scroll wheel. So the scroll wheel situation is pretty much identical on both mice. Both of them have that little clicky kind of scroll wheel so you can really accurately scroll to a certain point. And both of them have both a left push, right push, and click button. So you can bind different functions in your game to left, right, or clicking on the mouse wheel. That sounds like an odd thing to do, but I actually really like binding my mount up key bind in WoW um, to pushing my mouse button to the right so that I can just mount up whenever without having to actually move my hands from whatever else they were doing. Both mice have a set of two buttons directly below the scroll wheel. Um, these will act as kind of a shift or like a modifier almost. Um, and you can use those on both mice to activate a second set of keybinds on the mouse if you want. Um, I've never found those comfortable to press, like they're below the scroll wheel, so you've got to really cramp your middle finger to hit them or lift your hand off the mouse, which isn't ideal. So I've never used those on either mouse, but they are the same situation on both of them. Next, DPI. If you're not familiar, DPI basically boils down to a measurement of how accurate and precise your mouse movements are. So if you're playing a game that requires very high and fast precision, such as a PC shooter, you're going to want something with a higher DPI. The Razer Naga has a quite impressive DPI of 16,000, while the G600 has roughly half that score of 8,200. I will say though, for something like World of Warcraft, you are never ever going to notice the difference. I actually play quite a bit of Overwatch on my G600 mouse as well, and I could not say that the DPI is actually holding me back, and I've never noticed it to be an issue. However, if you regularly play PC shooters at like a tournament competitive level, you might want to consider the DPI of your mouse. For software, in order to customize the key bindings and the colors of your mouse, you're going to need um, either Razer Synapse for the Naga or the Logitech gaming software for the Logitech one. Um, both of them do roughly the same thing. I found that the Synapse to be a little bit more reliable, but I will say that if you keep your keys bound to 1 through 12, which I do, I never actually felt the need to open um, a piece of software for either of the mice. The only time I ever needed to open the gaming software or Razer Synapse is if I wanted to change the color of the mouse. So in the software situation, I give a tiny edge to Razer because I found Synapse to be just a, like a little bit less buggy than the Logitech software, but for the mouse specifically, it's not going to make a big difference. Both mice feature a braided cable for durability, and both mice feature customizable backlighting. So if you want to match your mouse color to your PC lighting, or to your room decor, or to your nails, you can do that, and you can do it on both mice. So next, let's take a look at the build quality and durability. So far, these have been very similar mice, and this particular section is where it really starts to diverge a little bit for me. Now, this is purely anecdotal, this is just my experience, but in my experience, and everybody I know, Razer mice have just failed like clockwork between the six month and the two year mark. Now that's not terribly surprising just because MMO gamers are very mean to their mice, but I haven't had the same situation with the Logitech mouse. I've had this Logitech mouse for four years. I have been using it for hours and hours every day and it has never had a hiccup. Whereas Razer ones every, you know, eight months, a year, maybe, maybe 14 months or so, one or both of the mouse buttons would stop working and I would need to go ahead and replace it. That's just my experience, but it matches up with what I've heard from my friends who have had both of these mice as well as some online reviews that I've read. So take that as you will. For other aspects of the build quality, the measurements and weight of both of these mice are almost identical, but they are slightly differently shaped. Um, I found that the Logitech G600 has a rounder shape to it, so for me, because I have fairly large hands and I like to use a fairly relaxed mouse grip, I really prefer the Logitech G600 because it's much more comfortable in my hands. If you have smaller hands or you prefer a more claw style mouse grip, the Naga might be more comfortable for you. 
For the warranty, both companies offer a basic limited warranty on these products. Razer offers a two-year warranty, while Logitech offers a three-year warranty. So basically, if the product fails because of something that they did wrong, then they will repair or replace it for you. It does not necessarily cover wear and tear, so if you wear the mouse out just through use, they may or may not cover it. That's at their discretion, but they might. With all that said, for less than $10, you can get a third-party warranty from like Square through Amazon. It'll cover for three years. It includes wear and tear, repairs, and replacement should it fail on you. And if you decide to go the Naga route, I would consider that strongly just because the odds of your mouse failing on you through use within the first four years, I don't have hard evidence, but from everything I've seen in my life, those odds are pretty high. Most importantly, the price. The Razer Naga retails full retail price at $79.99, while the full retail price of the Logitech mouse is $59.99. Um, however, I've seen both of those mice go on sale frequently and a lot, so the best way to check the most current price of these mice is to check the Amazon links in the description of this video. For example, when I was actually recording this video, both mice were on sale for closer to $50, which is a pretty good deal for a Razer Naga. So to sum up, the Razer Naga costs roughly $20 more, it has mechanical keys on the side, and it has a higher DPI. The Logitech G600 costs about $20 less, it has a third primary mouse button on it, and potentially has better longevity. I personally prefer and use the Logitech G600 just based mostly on the shape, the comfort, and the reliability, especially considering that all of the other factors in terms of features of these mice are basically neck and neck. I do think once I eventually wear through this thing, which has to be one day, like I use this thing a lot, I do think I'll be purchasing another Logitech G600, but the Razer Naga is also an excellent mouse, and both mice, either one, will be a huge step up for you if you've been using a non-gaming mouse up to this point. Being able to have an extra 12 keybinds in-game under your hand without having to move your hand off your keyboard at all is incredible. If you're getting set up with a grid button mouse for the first time, I do recommend that you use it to keybind things like cooldowns. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting your rotation on your mouse button. You will wear out your thumb trying to thumb out a rotation, but things that you use often but not constantly are a really good fit for it. For example, it's perfect for hitting my combat pre-pot, um, for popping dispersion, for popping vampiric embrace, things like that. Finally, if you're switching to a 12 button mouse from a mouse that has less buttons, um, give yourself some time to get used to it. You're not going to immediately have your thumb around all of the buttons in one day. Just take your time, experiment with what keys you actually like on those buttons, and don't dive into your regular mythic raid all at once. So that's the Logitech G600 and Razer Naga gaming mice. To find out more details, read reviews, or check prices, check out the Amazon links in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you yourself have used a Logitech G600 or a Razer Naga, leave your experiences in the descriptions. Just let other people know what you think so that anybody here that's shopping for a mouse can have more perspectives than just mine while they're in their research phase. Please consider leaving a like if you liked it and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.